32-bit operating system, 64-bit operating system, 32-bit CPU, 64-bit CPU. The software is 32-bit, the software is 64-bit. What is 32 and 64-bit? Hey guys, thank you for tuning in Techie Nets. So as we spoke in today's video, we are going to discuss about what is a 32-bit operating system and what is the 64-bit and what's the difference between a 32-bit OS, 64-bit OS, 32-bit CPU and a 64-bit CPU. We are going to analyze it in detail in this video. Before that, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe, click on the bell icon, like, share and comment. Now, as you see in the screen, my system type is of a 64-bit operating system and also the CPU, the processor is based up of 64-bit. The main difference between 32-bit and 64-bit is how much addressable memory it can handle. Okay, so we'll come to that later. So what is this bit? Bit is nothing but binary digit, 1 and 0. So 1 bit gives you 1 value. 2 bits gives you 2 values, so you can make it as 1 and 0 or 0 or 1. And as the bit goes up, the value goes high. For example, 3 bits give you 8 values. So this is basically bits. So basically computer doesn't understand uh, English or any other language. So computer communicates in bits. Okay. So, so now 32 bit, how it's calculated? 2 to the power of 32, which gives you 4 GB of memory which means a 32-bit processor or a 32-bit operating system can address 32 bits which means a 4 GB of memory while doing some process. Maybe you are working in a Word document or you are working in a very extensive video editing file or you are uh, doing day-to-day -day tasks, you are doing in, uh, works in some browsers. The addressable memory of a 32-bit operating system or a CPU is 4 GB. Whereas when you are using a 64-bit operating system or a CPU, the addressable RAM memory is about 16 million terabytes. Yes, that's right. 2 to the power of 64 will give you 16 million terabytes. So this is the basic difference between a 32-bit operating system or CPU and a 64-bit. You have to see here one thing. A 64-bit operating system or CPU can do the tasks that a 32-bit can do. but a 32-bit cannot do what a 64-bit operating system or a processor can do. Let me give you another example. I am uh, using a Word document, a uh, PowerPoint, uh, Excel document. Let's assume this Excel document is very, very huge document with the 600 MB data. So when a CPU is processing these documents, it won't process the data from your hard drive, be it SSD or HDD. It won't process the data from your hard drive, rather it will process the data from your RAM, random access memory, where the data is temporarily stored. So when you are using a 32-bit, only 4 GB of addressable memory can be stored in your RAM. A CPU can address only that 4 GB of memory. So when you use a number of applications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, maybe Photoshop, Premiere, when the addressable memory is increased more than 4 GB, the RAM won't be able to accommodate that much memory. What it does, CPU will come back to the hard drive to address the memory. In that time, your computer gets slow, your computer gets freezes and you won't get your work done in time. Whereas, in a 64-bit system, you have an option to address 16 million terabytes, which means there is no limit how much ever applications you use, if you have a particular RAM capacity which it can address, a CPU will work smoothly. So in a 64-bit uh, operating system, you can extend as much as RAM you can based upon the OEM's recommendation. So nowadays, each and every laptops which we are getting is a 64-bit. Even mobile phones are 64-bits. The first 64-bit smartphone was released by iPhone. It was iPhone 5S. So but from then, all the mobiles and all the laptops that we are getting now is 64-bit. So I hope this video would have helped you to understand what is a 32-bit system and what is a 64-bit system. In case if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.